Dear students, today we are interested to know about the Turing test. So for example, you have built an AI model and you have implemented that AI model in some language and we want to see whether you have come up with an intelligent agent that is correct, accurate or not. So this is a test which can tell us that whether it's perfect, accurate or inaccurate. So in the past, the Turing test proposed by Alan Turing in 1950 has served as a benchmark, as a standard. So everyone was comparing or utilizing this standard to test whether the AI model or the system built by them is perfect, accurate, correct or not. In the field of artificial intelligence. However, nowadays it is not being used. We will learn the reasons. How it worked? The Turing proposal was to allow a human, whom we can call the interrogator, to communicate with the test subject by means of a typewriter. So, human is sitting and it is writing the commands, and on the other end, there could be a human or there could be an intelligent agent. So sometime there is a human, sometime there is an intelligent agent. So if the actual human who is typing the commands remains unable to distinguish when there was a human and when there was a machine or intelligent agent, this means that you have made a perfect or accurate AI system. The machines would be declared intelligent if humans remains unable to distinguish it from humans. So, Turing prediction. Uh, Turing predicted that by the year 2000, machines would have a 30% chance of passing a 5-minute Turing test. So, this means you are communicating constantly for 5 minutes to a machine and you would not realize that this was a machine or it was a human. And he proposed in 1950 that after 50 years, by the year 2000, 30% of the time, you would, your system would be doing perfect and would be able to pass the test. And that tend to be surprisingly accurate. Turing test is not used today because this is due to the fact that such intelligence has been found to be added with much easier. For example, there is a doctor program and you say, to this program, I am tired today. It poses another question to you that when does not understand, it says, go on, very interesting. Or it says, why you are tired today? So you are asking, I am tired. And the doctor program intelligent agent is telling you or asking you again, why you are feeling that you are tired, tired today. So this kind of communication goes on until the agent is unable to realize that what you have said. So he is not understanding. The agent is not understanding. In that situation, the agent will say, you go on, carry on. Very interesting. Go on. So you are trying to explain the remaining things. So this means this uh, behavior when used in the doctor program. So many humans were unable to realize that whether it's a human sitting on the other end or the intelligent agent. So, more recent example of Turing test successes include internet viruses that carry on intelligent dialogue with the human victims in order to trick the human into dropping his or her malware god. Human competing against the computer, for example, chess. So, often experience the sensation that the machine possesses creativity and even a personality. So there are many people who are uh, playing chess with the computer and of course you know that the computer or the intelligent agenda or the artificial intelligence have been built by the humans into the game and sometimes it feels that this is not an intelligent agent. In fact, this is a human and this has really a personality and you feel very great about it. So let's summarize. We have learned about the Turing test, why it remained successful, and we have learned what were the Turing predictions and why Turing test is not being used 
today.